page 78. Logan, this man wouldn't have been able to do anything to help the police officer. You turn to the man. The police officer saved our lives. We are grateful for that. The man seems satisfied, satisfied with your appreciation, but Logan is fuming. Are you kidding me? This guy yells at us and you're siding with him? Before you can respond, Logan storms off into the police station. The man guides you down the hallway and into the main room of the station. He introduces you to the five people and gives you water and a cup, a couple of granola bars. Feel free to look around, but don't go too far, he says. We overheard a message on the police scanner about reaching an evacuation zone in the north part of town. As soon as we come up with a plan, we're out of here. You and Chloe, Chloe wander through a cluttered office, past a couple of bathrooms and around the evidence locker. The next room, which has oversized lockers, line the walls, hooks up hookups with the hallway near the back door. The gun lockers have already been cleared out. There's no sign of Logan. You walk over to the TV on the wall. The president is given an emergency State of the Union address. There's no podium or usual backdrop. The speech is happening aboard Air Force One. The president says that there is a pandemic that has swept the nation. He urges people to stay indoors and advises against going to the hospital. The address does little to calm your nerves. Let's head back to the main room, you say. Hopefully, Logan ended up there. You walk into the hallway and hear the zombies pounding on the back door. Suddenly, the door flies open and zombies fall all over each other as they stumble through the door. Chloe starts to scream, but an arm reaches around her head and covers her mouth. You're pulled back into the locker room by Logan. Quick, hide in the locker, he whispers. They can smell us, but they'll be more attracted to the noise in the main room. You jump into the nearest locker and shut the door. Chloe and Logan do the same. Within seconds, zombies stumble into the locker room. You try to steady your face pass, pace breathing, which isn't easy. You can see some filter down the hall while the rest pass through the locker room. In less than a minute, you he can hear screams from the main room. Logan slowly comes out of the first locker, and you and Chloe, Chloe follow suit. We should try to help them, you say. We can't help them anymore, he says. We have to leave now. To follow Logan out the back door, turn to page 88. To follow the main room of the station, turn to page 90.